the real debate is going to take place after the election in which Obama, in my opinion, will be elected as a national unity candidate. And the next speech he's going to make at the State of the Union is going to cut the entitlements. I mean, it's, it's almost as if a scenario was set up and this is the last act of the play. Yeah. He'll wait to the first day of the union, and then he'll say, okay, we're going after Social Security. Well, I think they're going to say it at the Democratic Convention, but nobody's going to notice it. Oh. I mean, they're not going to say it. No, I think we're going to have to deal with the entitlements. And, the, and that was the game. You know, it couldn't be set up better. You know, by this time, he has the um, support of the whole... Uh, the establishment, he's has been a very responsible president for them. The main intellectual leaders of the Republicans are throwing in the sponge on this election. They're trying to washing their hands on the um, on the presidential election, and it's been done in conscious. You know, so they're all clearing their skirts that they didn't have anything to do with the yeah. schmuck Romney. Yeah. Will starts it since he's the leader, and then Krotheimer came in afterwards. Uh -huh. And uh, Mary Noonan, who gives us theatrics. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But the, a number of them who take themselves quite seriously don't quite know what hit them yet in, what, in regard to what's going on in the Republican Party. And whether it's um, the bourgeoisie has destructed their party, or whether it's a momentary <laughs> aberration, just to know. I think it's more than that. I think uh, 20, 30 percent of the country do believe in this craziness that uh, Santorum is talking about. Yeah. And Romney has trouble articulating it because it's true, he doesn't know what to believe. But he also wants the nomination, and he's willing to do anything to get the nomination. So does it remind you a little bit of the Democrats writing off... Um, um, Kerry? Kerry. You know, when they kind of gave up on that pretty early in the game? Yeah, but they really shouldn't have. He only lost by 1%. Yeah. Uh, they're looking at a... I think you're looking at a significant spread of about 7 8 percent, maybe nine percent. Well, the other thing that, well, you can't just turn people off and on. You can't say, let's con concentrate on the congressional races, no. but we'll forget about the uh, the guy at the top. Most people are going to stay home or going to vote for the Democrats or going to, you know, they're not, you cannot take away their ideological engine and then expect the car to still run. What would happen? So you don't think there's any possibility that they'll let Santorum have it? Mm, first of all, I'm not sure they... I don't think he's going to get it based on what's taking place. I think he had a good shot at it till he went over the top with this business about puking about Kennedy's speech on separation of church and state. And attacking Obama for oh. being a snob for wanting everybody to go with their that kids together. So you know, funny. it. Uh, I, he's playing to a base, but he's playing to a base that that's not it. It's the base of. Um, it is what could be the beginnings of a theocratic or fascist movement. He's playing to.